Hello my dear students, hope you all are fine and safe. So today I am going to discuss about the digestive system. The digestive system is mainly divisible into number one, elementary canal, elementary canal and number two, digestive gland, digestive glands which secrete different types of digestive enzymes okay so now we are going to discuss about the elementary canal first so you focus on the image of the elementary canal actually Elementary canal is a long muscular tube and its length is about 8 to 10 meters. Okay, it is 8 to 10 meter long. So elementary canal is divisible into number one, this one is mouth, mouth for ingestion of food and buccal cavity. Buccal cavity, which is the special chamber with two jaw. Okay, and this is esophagus. This is esophagus, esophagus, and this one is diaphragm. Diaphragm. Diaphragm separates the abdominal cavity from the digestive system. Okay. So esophagus is a long muscular tube which passes through the diaphragm and enters into the stomach. Okay. This is our stomach and this is this long tube like structure is known as small intestine small intestine and after small intestine this is large intestine rectum and anal canal so esophagus passes through the diaphragm and opens into the stomach this is stomach stomach is the species symbol like muscular organ present on the left side of our body present on the left side of the upper abdominal cavity so stomach is mainly divided into three parts number one the parts just below the diaphragm is known as cardiac stomach cardiac stomach and the main part of the stomach is known as body and the constricted part of the posterior stomach this part this part is known as pyloric stomach okay so pyloric stomach is guarded by a pyloric sphincter like this pyloric sphincter and pyloric sphincter prevents the back flow of food from the duodenum part into the stomach because after partially digestion partially digested food particles enter into the duodenum part of the small intestine from the stomach so after stomach this long muscular tube is known as small intestine small intestine is divided into three parts this c shaped part is known as duodenum duodenum just below the duodenum this part is known as jejunum jejunum and the last part is known as iliac the final digestion of food occurs inside the small intestine and it 
has some long finger like projections. Small intestine has some long finger like projections which are known as phili. Phili and phili increases the space for final digestion and absorption of food also. So after small intestine, this part is known as large intestine and it has larger diameter than the small intestine and just between the small intestine and the large intestine this organ is known as appendix appendix and appendix is the vestigial organ as you know all so after the small intestine the large intestine is divided into number one cecum cecum part this one is cecum part and this is colon colon is Again subdivided into two parts, ascending colon and this one is descending colon. So the main function of the colon is the absorption of water, mineral, sodium from the undigested food or the waste materials. And it also responsible for the formation of cases. And this part is known as rectum. Rectum. Rectum is the temporary reservoir of facial matter. And this is colon. Oh, sorry. Anus. Anus for flush of the facial matter. Okay. So this is all about the elementary canal of the digestive system.